YouTube, how you doing? I thought I would bring you outside first before we talk about what we're cooking today and show you our awesome grill setup. Then we'll go inside and see what's on the menu, okay? So what we have, folks, is we are pulling out the Weber Summit charcoal grill, looking like it's still brand new. And what we have, folks, is Fogo Lump Charcoal. That's gonna be our fuel source today for our cook. I'm gonna open it up and let you see what we have going on. We have on the slow and sear a nice bed of Fogo Lump Charcoal. When we go inside, what we're gonna do, folks, we are cooking indirect, getting up this awesome protein to around 130 degrees, then we're gonna sear it off. So, I know I've told you everything except what we're cooking. Let's go inside and check out what we got going on. All right, folks, so we are at the cutting board. No more secrets. Here's what we have going on today. We are starting off using the Ultimate SPG. This will be the only seasoning that we put on this protein today. This is a mixture of salt, pepper, garlic, all sorts of awesome herbs from Heaven Made Products. What is the protein we're using today? Folks, let me get this opened up. Now this has marinated for 12 hours, all right? And what we have is four beautiful center cut pork chops, okay? So what we're gonna do, folks, we are gonna go low and slow. We're gonna hit it with the awesome Fogo smoke. We're gonna also add some peach wood, okay? So that'll be around 225 degrees. While we get these things up to temperature very, very slowly, right? We wanna keep that tenderness in. We wanna add that smoke flavor. Right when we get to around 120 degrees, Folks, it is searing time. We're gonna get that Weber Summit charcoal grill fired up and we're gonna sear this baby on both sides. And before you know it, we'll be back at the cutting board, all right? So check out these beautiful center cut chops we have. They are about a half inch thick. We've been marinating in orange juice for that 12 hour period, okay? So what I'm gonna do, folks, we're gonna take these off. Not even gonna worry about doing much rinsing. We'll keep this just the way it is. Go right to the cutting board, as you can see. and hit these babies with some seasoning. So as you can imagine, what we're shooting for is smoky and citrus. We're looking for all those flavors in these pork chops, all right? So we don't have to worry about a binder because the orange juice is gonna make sure that these seasonings adhere. And all I'm gonna do, folks, is go heavy with the Ultimate SPG. We'll do it on all sides, flip and repeat. A lot of my subscribers always get on me about using those smokers and they want to see the summit uh, in action. So this is definitely for you today, okay? All right, got us a nice coat on this side. We're just going to pat. All right, now we're going to flip and repeat. So let's do that now. The most important thing when cooking pork uh, like this, when you definitely want to shoot for tenderness and you want a juicy pork chop, is to do that low and slow and just manage your temperatures. All right, so it's all about building up that flavor and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna treat these babies with like kid gloves, right? We're gonna make sure to do these pork chops right. Okay, folks, so that's what we have going on. I'll meet you outside. We're gonna go ahead and get the grill fired up. I'm gonna use the grill gun. I'll show you that process. We're gonna dial it in again at around 225 degrees. Then it'll be time to start smoking these babies. I'll see you outside. Okay, folks, so we're gonna go ahead and get this baby fired up. So again, Fogo Lump Charcoal using the grill gun. Won't take long to get it heated up. Now remember, we're looking for around 225 degrees. What I'm gonna do is focus on the left side of the charcoal and just get that lit really good. Then we're just gonna go ahead and shut down the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill open up the rapid fire assist and get that baby up to around 200 degrees before we choke it down, okay? So that's the plan for this. All right, folks, so back to cooking. Orange marinade, right? So we marinated our pork chops in orange juice for 12 hours. We built in citrus flavors. We came back with the ultimate SPG at the cutting board. They're sitting on the cutting board now as we get the charcoal fired up. So that's where we're at. This grill setup is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and get it shut down. We're definitely lit now on this one side. Good to go. Now, once we get up the temperature, I'll go ahead and add that one piece of peach wood and start infusing these awesome pork chops with smoke flavor. And again, we'll just let it come up to around 120 degrees before we sear those babies off. All right, let's close it up. Open up the rapid fire assist. 
and we're done. I'll see you guys once we reach around 200 degrees. Okay, folks, no more than five minutes later, I went upstairs and talked to my wife. This grill is up to almost 300 degrees. We're gonna choke it down and go ahead and add these chops. We wanna get it down to around 225 to 250. So let me show you how we're gonna do that, okay? First, we're gonna go ahead and burp. All right, we have a beautiful fire going, again, just on one side, and we're gonna add these awesome chops, okay? So I'm gonna walk through and just show you how we're gonna do that. Just like this. Indirect cooking is what we're going after right now. Okay, so we have that done. I told you guys also that we're gonna add some fruit wood, so let me grab that real quick. So I have more peach cooking wood here. And we're just gonna get one small piece, that's all we need for this cook. All right, we'll just place that right here. Don't really care if it shuts all the way, that doesn't really matter, because we're not doing anything on this side yet, all right? All right, now let's get it shut down. Okay, all I'm gonna do is close my exhaust down to a quarter inch. That's about right there, or a quarter way open. And my intake, I wanna bring that down as well. All right, and we're going on the smoke setting down on the bottom, okay? So that's what we have going on today for this grill setup. We'll get back together and check with our instant read thermometer. Again, we get to around 120, 125 degrees, it's searing time. I'll see you guys in a bit. Folks, I wanna show you what we got going on. This is absolutely amazing, okay? We are sitting at around 260 degrees on the Weber Summit charcoal grill. We have light peach smoke billowing out. No more than about 10 minutes into this cook, so I know we're nowhere near where we need to be. I made a mistake and I said we we're gonna cook these to 135 degrees. Pardon me for that. These will be cooked to 145 degrees, okay? So we're gonna continue low and slow. Once we reach around 130 is when we're gonna sear these off, okay? But let's see how they're coming along just 10 minutes in. Look at that light smoke just perfuming those babies, all right? We're gonna come back with our instant read and just kind of show you where we're at right now. So we have 85, 84 on the first chop. About the same on the second chop, around 84. Our third chop internally says it's around one, I'm sorry, says it's around 89. And then our fourth chop, is sitting around 82, 82 degrees, all right? So we got a ways to go, which is awesome because we get a chance to keep on infusing with this awesome peach log, okay? So we'll get back together when we reach 130 and start the searing process. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we're back. 20 minutes later, let's check in on these chops and see where we're at. Let's burp for safety. We have a beautiful color that's already formed. The peach, it just smells amazing, okay? We are at 124, about the same here, 124. 127, almost 128. And 122. OK, so what I'm going to do is let these go around five more minutes. OK, that's going to put us right around 130 and then it'll be time to pull them. We'll bring them in the house, let them rest for a little bit while we get the grill up to temperatures of excess of 500 degrees. OK, we want a hot sear. We want some beautiful grill marks and we want an awesome final product. So I'll see you guys in a bit when it's time to actually pull them. Then we'll get back together as we get this grill hot and sear these babies off. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and add our first chop to this baby, and we'll let it sit here for around 30 seconds. All right, so we'll just get this wood fire going right now. You can see we have direct hot cooking right now, right? So we're right above the lump charcoal. We're gonna get awesome grill marks. We're gonna put that grilled flavor in along with that orange juice, along with that peach wood. Think about the complexity we have going on on these pork chops, and you'll see just how I'm so excited about the amazingness that they're gonna be, okay? So not too long because I don't wanna burn them. Remember, this is five to 600 degrees. It won't take long. I say 30 seconds, but I also don't wanna burn them. Let's see where we're at. Oh yeah, beautiful sear. Okay, so there's our beautiful first flip. All right, so let me show you this chop. Here's what we got going on. We're gonna move this to the side, go indirect right over here. 
And then I'm gonna continue the same process with the remaining chops. And we'll get back together when it's time to check out the final product of our orange juice marinated pork chops cooked with peach wood on the Weber Summit charcoal grill. I'll catch you guys at the cutting board. Okay, folks, we are back. And now we've been resting for around 10 minutes. It is now time to check out the final product of our orange juice marinated, grilled and smoked with peach wood pork chops made on the Weber Summit charcoal grill. But before we unveil this goodness, let's talk about what we did. Folks, we started off marinating four center cut pork chops in orange juice for around 12 hours. We pulled them out, I showed that to you, and we seasoned them with the ultimate SPG from Heaven Made Products. Folks, we let that sit on the cutting board, soak in those flavors, and we went outside and got that grill fired up. We fired it up using the grill gun. We set it for around 250 degrees, okay? It took no time for it to reach that temperature. And then all we did was go indirect for around 20 minutes until they reached 130 degrees. After that, I showed you the rapid fire assist. We got this grill up to 600 degrees and seared these babies off one minute on each side. That's all we did, folks. It was a very, very quick cook. It's awesome, I know it, and I can't wait to show you this final product. So let's unveil this goodness. Man, the house smells amazing, okay? You just smell beautiful smoke flavor. Look at these awesome grilled pork chops. Look at the juices flowing, all right? You know on DC grills, it's all about flavor. It's all about your stuff being juicy, all right? So I hope you can see these juices. I wanna make sure you see this stuff, all right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab one, place it on the cutting board, and cut into it and see what we got. I am so excited about this and I don't know what to do, all right? So here we go. We'll just get us a nice piece right here on the side. Our fat has rendered down. Oh my goodness. Okay, very, very light pink is what we have, cooked through and through. Tenderness, oh my goodness, nothing left to do but do a taste test. Here we go. Hmm. Folks, you gotta excuse me. Mm. Let me finish this. These things are tender like butter. They are flavorful. You taste the citrus notes from the orange juice. You taste the light peach smoke that we infuse it with, and you definitely taste the SPG. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what Deesky Grills is up to. And as always, at Deesky Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Try this recipe out. You won't be sorry. All you have to do is go low and slow, sear it off at the end, Sit back and enjoy some of the best pork chops you've ever had. I'll catch you guys on the next one.